Hey guys, what's up? It's Ellie here. In an interview recently published by Video Games 24-7, Deathloop's game director, Dingo Bakabar, talks a little bit about the powers we're going to be able to play around with. In the two trailers that have been released, we have seen multiple examples of the supernatural powers Colt and Juliana can use, but no actual details have been released. Until now. In this article, Zingabakaba explains that there is no morality system in the game, which I talk about in detail in this video. Check it out after this one. Deathloop is about killing swiftly, stylishly, and preferably in one smooth motion. Colt is basically a superpowered John Wick, and Juliana is his superpowered Zero. The only way he is getting off this island is by killing the visionaries before the end of the day. And the use of supernatural powers will definitely help. Juliana is Deathloop's layer of unpredictability. As the game's main antagonist, who can be controlled by another human player, as well as an AI, Juliana stalks Colt as he attempts to assassinate each target. Like a game of cat and mouse. She has access to the same arsenal of weapons as Colt has, but she has her own unique set of powers. One of these powers is Masquerade where Juliana is able to take on the form of anyone on the island, including Colt himself. Where Colt thinks he is sneaking up on an NPC, he is actually sneaking up on Juliana instead. Juliana could then spin around at the last moment and reset the loop. We have not seen Masquerade in action yet. Or have we? However, we have seen Colt's Dishonored style teleport, which isn't given a name in the article, but gets an official mention as a stealthy ability. In the first trailer, we see that Juliana seems to also have access to either the same or a similar ability, but this is not mentioned in the article either. We do have a name for Colt's telekinetic push ability, Carnesis, where Colt can simply throw enemies around, through windows, over ledges, and into the air. Interestingly, when this article was first published, there was a miscommunication, leading the writer to believe that Arcane had ditched the weapon and ability wheel from Dishonored and instead opted for the hotkey style of Overwatch. However, this isn't true and has been amended by the writer since. And it is confirmed that there will still be an ability wheel to cycle through, as well as dedicated buttons like in Dishonored. Clearly, there are going to be many more abilities than we have seen so far, and I'm hoping we will get to hear more about them soon. Maybe even Bethesda's QuakeCon at Home event from August 7th to the 9th. QuakeCon 2016 is where the attendees got an exclusive demo of Corvo's perspective and abilities in Dishonored 2. The gameplay was later shown at Gamescom, another gaming event in August but Gamescom has been cancelled for 2020. So if we're going to be shown anything during a live event, I think QuakeCon is our best bet. And you can count on me to keep sniffing out more details. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed, and let's chat about all the possibilities in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye.